University of Cape Town, the Faculty of Health Sciences. Uh, on behalf of the uh, Dean of the Faculty, who is away, uh, I really would want to welcome you all, esteemed guests from uh, across the world. Uh, particularly, I want to uh, notice uh, the presence of uh, Dr. Selo Manoto from the NRF. Uh, we really appreciate uh, your presence. And also, just to mention that NRF is one of the organizations that really supports us in one of the aspects in terms of infrastructure, if you look at what we call the NRF equipment program. So we really appreciate your presence at this. We, I would also want to um, uh, appreciate and welcome uh, from our UCT research office, uh, Dr. Lin Hon, who will say, uh, who will speak also at this uh, platform. Um, with that, really, I, I would want to appreciate the work that you do, uh, especially in uh, bioimaging, which has now allowed us researchers really to uh, start uh, getting image-based data that is so much rich that you, we can't get such data when we do normal screening. So the work that you do is noticed. Um, as a geneticist, uh, we also try to find ways to align ourselves with uh, bioimaging, but I really want to welcome you and hope you have fruitful discussions. Uh, and if I can just uh, take um, the aspect of my portfolio, I am a deputy dean for uh, postgraduate education. Uh, I really want also to emphasize the aspect of training uh, for a postgraduate student that comes through bioimaging. So with that, I really would want to uh, make you uh, uh, feel welcome, feel at home, and enjoy your discussions. Thank you. Thank you very much for this wonderful, warm, and perfect welcome training. That's exactly the key word for tonight and the next days to follow. I don't know how the the um, volume okay like this. Okay, so it is um, really with enormous pleasure to welcome you all here to the Global Biomaging number eight here in Cape Town and Stellenbosch in South Africa. There are so many familiar faces, friends, colleagues, peers who have been following global biomaging from the early days, but then again, especially from the past three days, many new friends that we have found and made during the Africa Biomaging Consortium. And it's, um, I'm almost lacking words to welcome you here. So maybe I just get started to give you a quick introduction to what is global biomaging to those of you who are new to this event, but hopefully will follow us in the next years to come. So global bioimaging is simple, and I think that's probably its recipe to success. Um, we are a bottom-up um, initiative by imaging facility managers, staff working at imaging infrastructures, and we are trying to tackle together the daily but also strategic challenges that are posed on us. If it's at the level of the individual core facility or if it's at the level of getting funding for imaging, if it's about increasing the visibility for imaging in the life sciences and health research, we are working together and really try to bring across our messages with one voice. And I must really say the past three days enormously impressed me when I saw this young community in, of Africa Biomaging Consortium what you have achieved in less than two years, how you are already working together in your working groups, and given the challenges that you are facing, the optimism that I could sense in your f meetings was f enormous, really. And I'm very much looking forward to follow your success, um, how you will change imaging in Africa. In Global bioimaging, we provide the space in the annual meetings, but also to our working groups, to develop common solutions. And we present them with a common voice towards our funders, towards our deans, towards um, policy makers, if it's about money or if it's about changing policies so that our careers look better than they currently do. The whole thing started. Okay, like this? Perfect. Um, <laughs> so the whole thing started in um, 2015 with three partners, Australia, India Bioimaging, and Europe. And 
we have really taken a huge step forward. So this is 2023, and I think most of you are more familiar with this presentation of the map of global bioimaging. And by end of today, I think we will be representing 53 or even 56 countries. I'm preempting a little bit the highlight of the day with which we will conclude the meeting here, which will be the signature of Africa Biomaging Consortium under the Memorandum of Understanding of Global Biomaging to become the next official partner. And this is how we get you on board, guys. I'm looking forward to that moment in about 45 minutes. <laughs> So, as I said, um, global biomaging is simple. And I, if it was up to me, I would really like to keep it this way because all the other work I'm working on is rather complex. <laughs> um, global biomaging provides every year once this annual exchange of experience where you are coming together to meet each other. Um, some of you have been knowing each other for many years, others are new to the community, but we are very inclusive, open, friendly. So all of you who are here the first time, feel free to reach out to your neighbor you're sitting to now, introduce yourself and become colleagues. Because as I said, we're working here together. That brings me to the next part. It's not only once a year that we're coming together, we are offering um, international working groups that mostly meet virtually. And in these working groups, we tackle, for example, impact assessment of core facilities, image data management, career path development, and many other exciting things. And in these working groups, you, everyone is welcome. You don't have to belong to anything. You don't have to pay a membership fee. You, don't, you just can show up showing honest interest in the topic and contribute. And then those working groups will publish international recommendations that become available openly for everyone on the Global Biomaging website for download. For example, there will be the career paths recommendation that um, other people will talk more about during the next days. And this is really a highlight that you can download and learn about how can I maybe develop further my career? How are others doing it? Are other people facing the same challenges in other places? So there's a lot of material already out there that you can check out. Global biomaging is not only about meeting and greeting, it's also about upgrading um, capabilities, skills. So we are providing international training courses in person, as well as we have a virtual training platform where um, we, will, we are providing modules for you to check out. Um, I'm not going into any more details here about what global biomaging activities are, because tomorrow the global biomaging core team, Yara and Gleb, who are present here at this meeting, will tell you much more about this, and they are the real experts. So who of you can find yourselves on these pictures? <laughs> so that's a little bit a journey throughout the years. It started up there at EMBL in 2016. Then we went to Bangalore. Sydney, I apologize, Lisa, I have the picture, but there was simply not enough space <laughs> for all the group pictures. <laughs> Too successful, indeed. Um, we went to Sydney, then we were in Singapore, then two years for very known reasons. We had to uh, do a virtual format. Last year, we were in Montevideo, Uruguay, and I'm looking forward to get the next group picture into my collection from this year's meeting. So, what this is now the homework for you guys. I want you to look at the slide and pick one, two, maybe even all activities and say, yes, this is what I want to take for home from this meeting on Friday when we are concluding. So first of all, try to join this community by talking to as many people that you do not know as possible to figure out what are they driving, why are they interested into imaging, what is their background, how do they see their career path, um, how are they talking to their funder? All of these things. Also learn, because the, the topic of this year's um, event is training, learn about the training opportunities that are out there and also how others are providing training. So it might also even be that Global Biomaging provides you some further support to, get, to give you some ideas for your next steps in your career development. From, for the uh, South African partners, try to connect with the national funding agencies. We will have one speaker here tonight. You will also learn about a really, really exciting initiative, the Imaging for All. That's a project that will start in 2024. 
It's funded by Wellcome Trust and it will provide access funding for researchers to come to your facilities. So something we will um, talk a little bit more about tomorrow in um, Yara's talk. Engage with the global funders that are also present here, Wellcome Trust and Chan Zuckerberg Initiative and corporate partners. We have many sponsors, I come back to that in a moment. And of course, what you have already done today, explore the um, local and regional imaging core facility landscape. This is just an overview in case you're jet lagged and tired and you don't know in which meeting you are right now. <laughs> um, we concluded the Africa Biomaging Consortium last night with a wonderful dinner and a lot of wonderful chats. Um, we are now in the middle box, the Global Biomaging Exchange of Experience. And on Sunday, there will be an international course for global biomaging uh, <laughs> facility management organized by Global Biomaging. And all of this, um, of course, also supported by our partners in South Africa, South Africa Biomaging and the African Biomaging Consortium. And that brings me to the most important part of this presentation. Thank you. Thank you to the local organizers. You have done a fantastic job. Lisa, Ben, and now I've lost, ah, there are our heroes in the back. Mike and Karen, thank you. It was a, really a ton of work and I could witness what happened the past days when I was here to organize two huge conferences back to back. Oof, <laughs> that's something. I also want to thank the scientific committee that is behind the backbone and concept of this year's exchange of experience. So Clap, um, who's a member of our core team in Global Biomaging and the training program manager, Jennifer Waters from Harvard Medical School, Luisa Cortes from the Microscopy Imaging Center of Coimbra in Portugal, and Shinya Komoto from the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology in Japan. So they are the ones um, who helped us a lot to conceptualize the EUE. And I think all of you will agree that our biggest thank you goes to Yara because I, I don't know if you had any hour of sleep in the past two weeks. <laughs> I got emails from you night and day and she tackled so many last minute issues, no matter if it was about the content, the speakers, the visa, the hotel rooms. Thank you so much. I think many of us are here because of that. My thank goes also to the organizations that are behind this year's EOE. There's, of course, South Africa Bioimaging. There's Africa Bioimaging Consortium. There's the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative that funded the travel grants to the Global Bioimaging event. And we have, of course, the Stellenbosch University and the Cape Town University that are hosting us and are really supporting both events. And my thank goes to this year's sponsors. And this slide is something that none of you have seen before because we had some sponsors, key sponsors over the years and that are still here and follow us, but we had never that many sponsors. So this is new and I would say it also demonstrates the traction that we are gaining as a community. So something really to learn from and to reach out to the sponsors, talk to them, meet them also uh, throughout the next two, three days. I know many of you had the opportunity during ABIC, but please continue. And with that, I finish. Welcome to Global Biomaging num Exchange of Experience number eight. Welcome to South Africa and enjoy the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you.